Chair, Madam Chair, in comparison to uh, Madam Tudorescu Moave, I don't make any difference between suffering and suffering. What Hamas terrorist attack, the 7th of October last year, was heinous and rightly condemned. Can you condemn Netanyahu's actions, killing over 40,000 Palestinian people, over 40 percent of them, women and children? Can you condemn those pictures of mutilated bodies that we constantly show, see in the news after news? Can you do that? I condemn Hamas. Can you condemn Netanyahu? 30 seconds also for the answer, please. For the first, so we don't know how many of them... Well, we don't know how many of those 40,000 killed were uh, terrorists and civilians because Hamas has made a point of mixing amongst the uh, civilian uh, population. And the suffering in, uh, Gama in Gaza, that was caused by Hamas. They are the ones that broke the ceasefire. I am trying to respond to Evan Inse's uh, question. I don't think you're really concerned about peace. You are not putting pressure on the other side who want to deny Israel its existence. You are contributing to the problem. If you want to have peace in the Middle East, you, want, you should want to see a democratic force in power in Palestine. Thank you. Order. Please, please. Gaza, Gaza, Gaza. Despite Netanyahu's tentacles in our parliament's efforts to silence discussion on Gaza, when taking Gaza out of the title of today's debate, we Social Democrats will keep reminding. Over 42,000 Palestinians have been murdered by Israeli bombs and tanks in Gaza alone. More than 1.9 million people are displaced, and even Israeli claimed safe zones are not safe from bombs and tanks. Why is it so difficult for some to acknowledge that war crimes are taking place? Hamas terrorist attacks on October 7 last year were despicable and rightly condemned. But Netanyahu's heinous attacks on the entire Palestinian population are equally reprehensible, and so is the over 50 years of occupation. Images of mutilated bodies of children, women, and elderly should horrify us all in here. The lives of Palestinian children deserve the same values, are, uh, deserve the same values as anyone else. All this bloodshed, death, and suffering, what purpose does it serve?